Good morning guys and welcome back to Icon Smart after a lovely weekend. We didn't do a video yesterday but well done to those that did play the jackpots. The small jackpot, ja oh sorry, the jackpot 1 and the jackpot 2, the one 12,000, the other one 7,000, both of them the firms for 840. So that was a great play. Um, I didn't do a video because of the change of the um, venue over to Gravel, but it seems like the rating still did pretty well there. But let's move over and see what we have in store for Gravel Poly today. So in the first, we have a green in the form of King's Keys Tune. Nice 12 to 1. Um, pays decently 12 to 10 on the place market as well. And uh, may just be decent competitive. If I look at Tristan Godden's 80% uh, win place jockey, uh, potential um, and now the blinkers being fitted as well uh, if I look back at the last time that uh, the blinkers was fitted it didn't make all that much of a difference to be quite honest if I'm judging on the back figures here the very next run it went over to zero from a 2.8 but overall all in all all these figures lately has been pretty decent considering the rest of the field and it should be competitive uh, even a top four is pretty decent at 65%. Um, the P-Stats is supportive. There's a 38% chance of win after 48 previous P-Stats. P-Stats meaning 48 previous times we had the Gravel Poly Track Class G 1200 meters rated. Uh, we have had 38% of those 48 races where the top greeny points did win the race. So Essentially, a 38% chance for Kingsky's tune at 12 to 1 is not a bad return in the long run. <clears throat> I personally also think that this Sadiki is not badly rated either. Um, 14 to 1 is not a bad price either. Um, and then Peter Muscat and Arthur Marcus on Indigo Moon being the second rated here with Thinkers Fitted as well, coming back from a little bit of a break, could also be the right one. Personally, I just don't trust the rider. Um, the third rated Dennis Dry and Sean Veal together, best stat form, best super rule percentage. Um, all these bats is quite close together if Kingsby's tune is taken out of the equation. And then the favourite Capulet's Heart is my fourth rated, Nathan Cotson and Wizzy Yeni. Wizzy in great form, coming from a bit of a break, <coughs> could be competitive as well. Um, <coughs> then Siddiqui is the algorithm's fifth choice. I will put the jackpot, the PA, the pick six, the buy pot and everything else at the bottom here just now. So please do register online on iPuntSmart.com forward slash home to get this daily for free. And I will load the video and all other videos on here as well in the future. Moving on to the second race. The top rated here is set the date. Um, to be quite honest, bit concerned about the jockey G Peterson as a first choice because he's not had the best of win rate percentage in his life 1.68 percent but he is the top rated and Cole Hewitson's only right for the day um, I wouldn't bank him though I do prefer the jockey on the second rated boss uh, Louis Hewitson is only having three runs for the day and then Yogis Govender and Stradom also a decent jockey here. Yeah, it is an apprentice handicap, so I'm trying to see where I'm going to get the best out of the jockey. Royal View, another decent Jabu Jacobs, another decent jockey. Bit concerned about this race being an apprentice. I wouldn't be surprised if any of those five can actually win it. Um, for Bipot, one, two, and seven is the only three that I will put in. On the third race, we have Bard Nelson Kennedy's only ride for the day or runner for the day with rights only ride for the day at 14 to 1 um, my saving grace so i do think that we should include that in everything then if peter muscat can win the first one with market he also has market here on east coast star but again like i said after marcus even on a 3 to 10 favorite is not a good idea for me so um captain's drift in kanemeyer and keegan the Mielo, they have a good relationship together best overall Ranking, best greeny points, exotic ranking, meaning it has to be in the exotic, speed rating, stat form, intent, um, another one that we should include. And I do like a bit of this Ruffy Imperial Seal. 
only runner for low indonation. Wayne Negrella has only got two for the day. Has to overcome the draw, which is a little bit of a concern, but his exact course and distance bet is by far better than the rest of the field with a 5.76. That was quite a while ago, but a very good run nonetheless back here when Mark Khan was riding it. Uh, 60.04 on adjusted time and a lovely 5.76 on the blue bat. So you can take a chance and just bank East Coast Star if you want to make the big six five legs. I won't be doing that. Uh, the fourth race, the top rated not now Pussycat. Gary Rich has only got two for the day. Half of Marcus. Personally, I would be more confident on Marcus actually winning this race than the previous race just purely because Marcus does better when he is not the odds on outright favorite so i do think that not now pussycat has a decent choice but i've also seen cliffy miller on his attempt here for a double with tackett twice and in the next race he's got top rated as well so i'll definitely include tackett twice uh, hot money wendy whitehead had two winners at huge odds the last time that she was at gravel um so i would definitely respect that with the best super rule Best bomb 168 and bomb C. The stable is coming to form. And Miss Charlotte has the best exact course and distance bat. Then you've even got Shakes Storm with a really decent appy claiming four kilos. You've got Satara, Astute Vision, Noble Princess. Um, if you look at Tacker Twice being the top rated, Muzieni is on Noble Princess. So a bit of a tricky race to get through. I'm not going to put my head up on anything there. The only green star for the day is bright flame for me and that is why i do think that cliffy miller must be respected in the previous and the only two in my buy pot would be bright flame and royce magic in this race they do have very decent bum roll figures here uh, based overall ranking uh, it's not a greenie but he is sufficiently ahead to maybe be a banker in the pa at least um, others to consider after royce magic jonathan if Kingsky's tune does well in the first, then definitely Jonathan. Alpha Mike's Foscroft is an only runner, and I, I do like the riding of Matsunyani recently, and he has got two decent runners today, so he's also a bit of a question mark for me. On a favourite, he doesn't disappoint, uh, he's actually not a bad rider. Stand by me, Doug Campbell's in form, and also a decent Epi. It does make it a bit tricky. We don't quite know what we're going to get from the apprentices today. That doesn't mean that we should bank uh, the races where there's normal jockeys. It just makes it tricky. Um, in the sixth race, Viking Red. This is where Matsunyani, I uh, think he's got a chance here as well. Alison Wright has a nice hand here in second and third rated. Of these two, not much between them. So I have to put in both of them. Um, sea Sponge to me is a bit more distance uh favored or distance suited if you want to call that um fever next best rocky coast frank robinson um has two in this race i prefer viking red but uh peter sir is the one with the flames here and he's got a hundred percent place record with rocky with with robinson so not really getting much easier for the day i the next one frank robinson and arthur marcus is my first choice here um marcus on a three to one is better than marcus on a three to ten for me so color my fake my first choice but galway only runner for rivaland and only ride for randolph is a decent enough favorite um these two is quite ahead of the rest of the pack as far as bat figures are concerned um so definitely four and three you have to consider in this race third rated captain eliador fourth what a blast fifth the appeal most of destiny in sixth place and then in the last um if diamond and toads can do the distance um then he's definitely a big runner but you can see these red bats is way better than the rest by six lengths if he can't last the distance then megan maxine the monk trip to freedom um susie two shoes conquer the world then all of them has a chance but if i look at the last 42 days you can clearly see he's got just over five lengths ahead of the rest of the pack. The question is just to me whether those uh, red bats means that he can actually do the 1700 and that we will find out later. Um, so not much standing out today. I will nibble at the green today. That's my first choice and 
I think Bright Flame is not a bad place prospect. Um, but it may be tricky because it's, it's an apprentice handicap. So a little bit of caution out there, guys. And uh, any profit, then uh, bank it. Don't overdo it today. It might get tricky. Have a great day.